quite an eventful first day, Your Majesty. I'll leave you to rest now. This is Your Majesty's bedroom. There you go, Chief. Unfortunately, you do have the option to redecorate your private quarters as you see fit. Good, I've got a few ideas. We'll put the velour industry on full standby. Through those doors is your dining room, and across the way, the bath. Through here is your study, and there is your dressing room. Anything we've left out? I don't know. How about a bowling alley? Mm -hmm. One other thing. At your coronation four months hence, you will be required to wear the Imperial State Crown. It's usually kept in the Tower of London, but we took the liberty of placing it near your bed as a reminder of the eminence of your office. It contains the Star of India, the second largest diamond in the world. You should practice wearing it to get used to the weight. Good evening, Your Majesty. Thanks. Hey, Sad. Yes? What exactly is it that a king does all day? And scarcely a minute of your day is unaccounted for. Nevertheless, what you do is not as important as what you are. What am I? To be the king of England is a responsibility like no other on earth. You must become a symbol of all that is best about England. An embodiment of our history, our culture, our morality, our pride of achievement. In short, our ideal of civilization. You must, in the harsh light of public scrutiny, exhibit all of our virtues and none of our shortcomings. Wait a minute. I thought all I was supposed to do was get dressed up and wave. I don't even know what our virtues are. You will learn soon enough. I'm afraid it's a god's burden to bear. Unfortunately, it must be borne by a man. Good evening, Your Majesty.